자 오늘도 평화로운 상태로 돌아온 라이프 이즈 스트레인지 에피소드 4를 할 시간이죠 지금 막 자다 일어나서 목소리가 좀 잠겼는데 사실 그렇게 원래 목소리랑 별 차이도 안 나는 것 같긴 하지만 여튼 이틀 전에 마지막으로 했었네요 최대한 오늘 지금 에피소드 4를 끝내고 저녁에 에피소드 5를 깨볼 생각이에요 오늘 안에 이 게임을 클리어를 하고 배드드림 코마를 리뷰를 한 다음에 음. 잠시만요 여튼 계속해 보겠습니다. 저번에 클로이가 정신이 됐죠? Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Oh my God! 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 My fucking dad, of course. Hello. No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello. Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. So now, main episode is starting. I'm so excited about this game. First of all, Chloe is so beautiful. Who can deny the truth? 개다 개 고래는 왜 죽은 거지? 
It's weird hanging out with you again. Baruch, is I know. Soup? I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Golden See? Hour. Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girlfriend. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. <gasps> you did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't yeah, feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Best friend forever. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. What? Yeah. Chloe, <coughs> It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. 
They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The snow globes are taking over. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she that's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Max. Bien. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech it must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek. Why? Chloe is only price. See, I'm practically a human entertainment just system. Just feeling good. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner movie. Blade Runner, yo? I always cry at the end. Yay. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. 
Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, you're just sitting there. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. You're just sitting there, right? Ah, here's the DVD. Blade Runner는 마지막 인공지능이 자기 눈 파는 장면 참 안타깝고도 절망적인 장면이지. 아 나도 너무 옛날에 봐가지고 그 영화를. 그 후속편 봐야 되는데 아씨 그거 볼라면 옛날 것도 같이 봐야 돼 이어서 봐야 돼나 기억이 안 나. 솔직히 블레이드 러너 같은 미래에게는 별로였어. 차라리 소일렌트 그린이 훨씬 나았어 나는. 쌍화할 거면 그렇게 나는 그 사이버펑크가 싫어. 느낌이 좀 별로야. 아 자살을 했을 것 같아. 아니네. 아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
but, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. It makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. <coughs> Please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. What? Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. I never heard much about William's brother. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. <laughs> it's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. You 
are screwed. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only for us. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Yesterday, all oh, my troubles is gone far away. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Chloe. I'll just drift to sleep, dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think.
개오바야 I'm sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Kate는 죽은 건가? Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grow. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. 
think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. <coughs> and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't... This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Yes, Chloe Price was here. Oh, you never tumble, Pina. I don't tumble, and you see, Tema G. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around.
Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell, show me how Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Oh, jeez. David is packing up Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Hmm. Oh, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Hey. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. I knew that the code was in the Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel, plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird being suspended and just walking around campus. Well, you are an adult now. This isn't prison, is it? Not until we get orange jumpsuits. On that note, 
Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Yay! Yeah. The trouble in the shank. Fuck shit. Don't pay watch, don't pay for it. Watch. Oi! Trouble in the gummit! Tijera! Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. She was probably Chloe high. fits in so yeah. easy with she Justin. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. Type three. I know. Yeah. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, Sad and like everybody confused. else in Arcadia everybody Bay. In you look like you have a lot of questions, too. I'm sorry. I better get going now. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to Brooke drive Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with- Hey Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone what? needs me. Talk to you later, Max. You don't do that about the Last Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. Consi I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan good. pissed and walking off campus good. earlier. Good. Good luck getting that date, Max. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. 아니 무슨 데이트 한번 했다고 지랄을 Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. 